everyone. So I want to share something with you that I saw in this Asicha from Nun Beis, Parsh Shalach. First of all, good yom to everyone. <clears throat> it's your Shvat today. And I have to share this with you. I, I don't know if everybody else is going to be as excited about it as I am, but like I've literally been thinking about this for the past day since I, since I saw it. And <clears throat> I think it has very, very... Um, really real implications for us in terms of opening our eyes to the Geula and how to look at the world. So I'm just going to share it. Um, I hope it inspires you because it's a day to be inspired and to strengthen our Eskashra. So, so, um, so basically <clears throat> I was reading the Sikha yesterday from Bishalach Nun Beis where it's, um, Ice Dalit, if you want to look it up. And, uh, I was talking about Amalik. Okay. And <clears throat> in parentheses where I was talking about like as a preparation for receiving the Torah, and there was also talking about as a preparation for the Torah Chadasha and the Geula, um, there's this obliteration of Amalek, which is great. It's, it's, that's not even a deep Hasidic concept. We all know it. It's, it's, we say it every day that we have to forget Amalek, and Amalek needs to be obliterated. It's, it's, you know, Judaism 101, right? But then in the parentheses, the Rebbe says, and refine. So the Rebbe says, um, that the, the, the obliteration and refinement of Amalek is a, is a preparatory step for receiving the Torah and for receiving the Torah Chadasha. I was like, what? Refine Amalek? So anybody who's ever learned even a little bit of Chassidus and ever learned anything about Amalek knows that it says very clearly in Chassidus that Amalek is irredeemable. And there's nothing to refine in Amalek. It needs to be obliterated, right? <clears throat> but if you actually look at the Rebbe brings a footnote right in that ice, footnote 72. And the Rebbe says, the descendants, it says in Gittin, in the Gemara, that some of the descendants of Haman learned Torah. That's a bure. That's a transformation of Amalek. But no one else has brought this out. So I, I actually did a little bit of research. I called a couple of rabbis because I was like, am I crazy? Did the Rebbe just say there's a bure in Amalek? And yeah, yeah. And, and, and someone said to me, it's, it's a chiddush of the Rebbe, right? So just, I mean, it, there's nothing less redeemable than Amalek. The fact that the Rebbe could redeem Amalek finds the godly spark purpose, even in Amalek, that, that to me is just like, wow. Like only the Rebbe could do that, right? But it also has implications. It also has implications because the Rebbe said that the Bureau is done. So if you're thinking, you're like, well, yeah, I mean, the Bureau is done, but like, you know, we still got to wipe out Amalek. Amalek's a descendant of Esav. And the Rebbe said that the klipa of Esav has been refined. And the Rebbe says clearly in here that one of the preparations for receiving the Torah Chadasha is the refinement of Amalek. And the Rebbe said the refinement's been done. So to me, the implications of this is that the Rebbe's telling us like, you can turn over the world now because you have a world that is completely and utterly ready to be redeemed. And, and, and it matters. This one little Nakuda matters because if there's even a little inkling of us that thinks, but yeah, but there's still some real evil out there in the world, then you're going to relate to the world in a very combative way. But if you take to heart what the Rebbe is saying, you realize there's no true evil left. Literally, there's no true evil left. And that means that everything can be turned over. And if we relate to the world in the right way, we can reveal God in literally everything. There's nothing stopping us. So please, God... Let's give the greatest gift that we can to the Rebbe on Yud Shvat, to see the world through the Rebbe's eyes. And from there, we should have the full Hiskalas of the Gula Shalima, just the effort to try. Should, should bring the Gula Shalima and we should be celebrating together. Like the Rebbe said, we're gonna go immediately on the clouds of heaven to Yerushalayim, may it be today.